Hello my dear students welcome again for the online classes today we will start with the same lesson of geography lesson number 3 our changing earth last lectures we have studied about lithospheric plates how the movement of the lithospheric plates is responsible for the changes on the earth surface and also we have studied about the movement of earth in earth movements we have studied about the endogenic forces and exogenic forces how these forces are responsible for the changes on the earth surface or we can say how the endogenic forces and exogenic forces causes the changes on the earth surface in endogenic forces we have studied about some sudden forces sudden forces like some uh, means sudden forces means the changes which take place on the earth surface suddenly for example earthquake volcanoes landslides etc so today in this lecture we are going to study about earthquake and volcano so first of all let us study about the volcano now what is volcano volcano is a vent opening in the earth crust through which the molten magma material erupts suddenly now children we have studied about the different layers of the earth first the outermost layer of the earth is crust and below the crust the second layer is the mantle we have studied that the hot molten magma is in the second layer that is mag the uh, in the second layer that is mantle now in this diagram this is the diagram of a volcano let us study about volcano now children this is earth crust and this is the layer which is showing the mantle now this is the magma this red color shows the magma now this is the magma chamber where we have the magma now the magma in this layer is very hot that is the temperature and the pressure in this layer is very hot is very high now when this molten magma when it comes to the earth surface it becomes lava now see children this red color this lava when it comes on the earth surface it is this magma when it comes to the earth surface it is called lava and when this lava cools down it changes into the different types of rock which we have studied in the uh, geography so now the magma which comes through a pipe it is called a vein so children see in the diagram we can see this red color this is the hot molten magma which is coming through one pipe that is called the vein and exactly from where this is the earth crust and from where the hot molten magma comes out this point is called the crater now some molten molten magma some molten magma remains in the interior of the earth itself that is we have studied about the intrusive rocks and extrusive rocks this hot molten magma cools down in the interior but the hot molten magma which comes out it takes the form nay it becomes the lava and see we have the these are the gases and the ash which comes out with the hot molten magma so this is about volcano what is volcano volcano is the vent when this vent opens and the earth opens the earth crust through which the hot molten magma material comes to the earth crust it is called the volcano now children why why this hot molten magma comes to the earth surface because of the movement of the lithospheric plates there are some changes which takes place in the interior of the earth there are some forces which are continuously in the in there are some forces which take place in the interior of the earth there are some changes which take place in the interior of the earth and because of the high pressure and temperature this hot molten magma is pushed 
towards the surface of the earth and it takes the place of the volcano so this is about volcano now how does it causes the mass destruction on the earth surface now how now one side is we say that the hot lava when it cools down we get the different types of rock but when this lava when it this lava when it comes to the earth surface when this lava is passing through the forest the forests are burn the forest clears down because the lava has very high temperature and because of the temperature the area the near the area nearby the volcano gets burn then the animal life also gets harmed by the volcano by the heat of the volcano and also the people who are living near the areas where the volcano takes place they are also affected by the heat of the volcano so children this is about the volcano now the another the another point which we are going to the another sudden for the another change which takes place suddenly on the earth surface is earthquake so we are going to study about let us see what is earthquake Now let us see earthquake. What is earthquakes? The movement of the lithospheric plates causes vibrations on the earth surface. Now we know that these lithospheric plates are constantly moving in relation with each other, and when these plates, when they come closer to each other, they get close when they. get close to each other they get the when these plates when they come closer to each other they are push towards each other and the vibration takes place and when these vibration takes place there is some uh, this vibration which causes the change on the earth surface is called the earthquake so the vibrations children you see when the earthquake take plates the earth surface we feel that the earth surface moves so that is what the earth surface means the plates when they come closer to each other when they are coming in relation with each other the vibration takes place and we the earth surface totally shakes and these vibrations are called earthquakes now the place in the crust where the movement starts is called the focus so focus is the point where this vibration starts so that point is called the focus and exactly the place above the focus is called the epicenter and the epicenter from there the vibrations are spread towards the other part of the surface so this way the earthquake takes place now children in your test book we have seen you see the diagram you will understand how these two lithospheric plates this diagram shows the two lithospheric plates when they come closer in relation with each other the vibrations take place and this point which shows in the middle is the focus and exactly the place about the focus is the epicenter from where the vibration is spread towards the earth sir surface now when when the earthquake takes place the greatest damage takes the place near uh, the greatest damage takes place at the places which are near the epicenter because from the epicenter only the vibrations are spread 
now these sudden forces they are not like volcano like volcano earthquake earthquake is also not predicted we cannot predict that when earthquake will take place it is the sudden change which takes place on the earth surface but some predictions have been done about the earthquake that is when the animals in the sea when the fishes starts uh, when the fishes starts a uh, fish in the ponds get agitated that is when they start jumping from one uh, from in the water it is predicted that the earthquake will take place why because in the sea also we have the oceanic in the oceanic layer oceanic crust these animals when the vibration takes place they the vibrations are first felt by these animals and they start jumping and also when the snakes when they come from the hole when they come from the hole towards the out surface of the earth because when they are in the inner crust when they are in the hole they get the vibration of the get the feeling of vibrations very fast and so these animal by the movement of these animals it is predicted that the earthquake is going to take place and also children one case study of bhuj the earthquake which hits the bhuj it is given in your test book that how the earthquake hit in this city and what damage took place in the city so you have to read the case study which is given in your test book now children how now these forces take place suddenly but we have to take precautions from this uh, sudden forces so how what preparation we can do what precautions we should uh, take for the earthquake that is we should when we feel the vibration we should move towards the safe area that is we should not stand under the roof we should go and stand in the open place where uh, not, we will not be harmed by the falling of the ceiling or because when the vibration takes earthquake causes lots of damage because because uh, the earthquake because the vibrations which take place on the earth surface the buildings also get destructed so many the people the trees the buildings may fall down so we have to first move towards the safe area then we have to uh, uh, we have to be away from the the fireplaces areas around the chimneys windows and they and sh that shatters including the mirrors and all because the vibration which causes the damages it may harm to us so we have to move away to the safe area and we should be we have to first of all we have to spread the awareness among the people among your friends that we should not get afraid of the earthquake we can take precautions we have to be prepared for the earthquake so these forces may take place any time on the earth crust so it is our so we should be alert we have to take the precautions we should not get afraid of these destructions so children for today these two points that is volcano and earthquake we have to stop here today in the next lecture we will continue with the another topic so thank you